Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 seven mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. Welcome back yet again, everybody. It's another day off. Therefore it's another set of videos that I'm going to do this weekend. So thank you for being right here with me. I am going to talk about a fragrance that is super duper popular, I think in the mainstream world and is a hallmark fragrance of the brand Byredo. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe guys. Again, your likes, your subscriptions really does help the channel, especially when you watch the ads as well. Guys, we are headed towards 12,000 subscribers. It's going pretty quickly and we are headed towards 2 million views. So please continue to support the channel. I appreciate you guys, especially the feedback that you guys share with me on my community tab or my Instagram. Now this fragrance, like I said, is a hallmark fragrance of the brand Byredo. And what do I mean by a hallmark fragrance? It means that when you look into the brand Byredo, this is one of those fragrances that no matter where you're looking, you're gonna get a lot of feedback towards it, a lot of buzz towards it, a lot of hype towards it. These hallmark scents, once you look into the brand, a lot of people are gonna say, this is my signature scent. This is really worth the hype. This is worth buying a full bottle of. So it's only appropriate that we do a no hype video on these Hallmark fragrances. Now the brand Byredo, in my opinion, is not that big or not that popular in Fragcom. And I am referring to the Facebook groups, Fragcom, as well as the Reddit groups, Fragcom. I don't think it's really that big there. And matter of fact, there are a lot of people in Fragcom that kind of trash this brand. But in my opinion, this fragrance brand by Redo is huge in the mainstream collecting community. I think that in the celebrity world or outside of Fragcom, by Redo is huge. The marketing is really great. They've got a very minimalist look to all their bottles. They've got great collaborations. And of course, they've got influencers all around that actually wear their fragrances. And the Hallmark fragrance I will be reviewing today is none other than by Redo's Mojave Ghost Guys. All right, Mojave have a ghost by Byredo. Man, it's such a cool name, right? I mean, it looks like a code name for like a Top Gun fighter, like Maverick, Iceman, Ghost Rider, Mojave Ghost. Like, it sounds perfect <laughs> if you are an actual like naval aviator. If you had a code name, Mojave Ghost would be perfect. Now, there's a reason that it took a while for me to actually review Mojave Ghost, and that's because I actually owned like a hybrid cousin or brother of Mojave Ghost and that's none other than Byredo's Elevator Music. I have a full bottle of this one and I bought this one because this is actually a collaboration with Virgil Abloh, rest in peace, of Off-White and Louis Vuitton lore. And a lot of people were saying at that time that Elevator Music is actually just like a hybrid of two Hallmark fragrances of Byredo and I think they did this as well with the Travis Scott fragrance where they hybridized two existing fragrances. And in this case, it was Mojave Ghost and Super Cedar. So I really didn't feel the need to review Mojave Ghost if I already had Elevator Music. And that's until I really looked into it, guys, okay? And there's a lot of Fragcom feedback on this fragrance that I really wanna clarify with you guys. First of all, there's a lot of hype. A lot of people are saying this is so excellent. This is a signature scent. I think I looked into the community tab this morning and one of our uh, viewers was saying that this is uh, his wife's signature scent. Uh, she gets complimented so much on this fragrance. And then there are a lot of people that are saying that the performance is actually really horrible on this fragrance. There are some people that are saying it's only like 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And of course, that's something I really want to address on this video. And also, I think that a lot of people want to know if this fragrance is truly just a femme fragrance or if it is a unisex fragrance or where can this fragrance be used so i'm really going to answer a lot of those questions today but before i continue let's go spray this thing right now mm. so despite owning byredo's elevator music what reeled me in to reviewing and trying and testing mojave ghost it's got to be the opening notes right here and on the opening notes you are going to get Naysberry or Sapodilla, as well as Musk Mallow or Ambrette. When I looked at the photo of Sapodilla, I was just like, oh my gosh, I was so hyped because Sapodilla is actually in Filipino culture, is called a Chico. It's called a Chico, okay? So this fruit 
is uh, one of my favorite hallmark like childhood fruits. It's one of those fruits that I used to eat a lot in the Philippines. I don't think they're available here. I think they're available in the Philippines, the tropical islands, or in Central America. Chicos are so damn good. If you haven't tried a Chico, you should. It's a really juicy and wonderful uh, fruit that is kind of soft. It's softer than a pear, like a really juicy pear. It's softer than that, and it does have a unique taste, a unique smell. Now, on initial spray right here, guys, I will say this, that the sapodilla is not as strong as I kind of expected, okay? So the sapodilla is there. It provides a smell that is a curve. It's an immediate curve, so it's not going to be like an uplifting and bright uh, initial part. I thought that I would get a beautiful, strong blast, a powdery blast of this sapodilla, but actually it's very complementary to the second note that in my opinion is more dominant, which is going to be your ambrette or musk mallow. It's so complementary in fact that it's actually just a sweet musk mallow scent right here from the get-go. And it's going to be a curve because there is a musky smell uh, following the sweetness. Instead of just smelling the musk mallow right here from the beginning, it's like that additional fruity smell. And I think that is very likable and it's also the reason why a lot of people are thinking that it's femme. And I agree with some of you guys and gals that say that this could be femme because the sapodilla adds a sweetness that the musk mallow really can't get on the level of. Because I think that the musk mallow is sweet as well. It's sweet and musky, but it's like a low key type of sweetness right here. But of course, that extra dose of sapodilla just adds a thick dose of sweetness as well and it may make you think that this is a femme fragrance. Now, a lot of people are calling this fragrance a clean fragrance, and that's because of the musks, guys, okay? And, you know, I've seen some really funny feedback where some people are saying, like, you know, if you really wanna smell clean, then why don't you just take a shower and <laughs> cleanse yourself and you're going to smell clean. Okay, guys, let me stop right here. That's not what it means, okay? To me, smelling clean or a clean smelling fragrance, guys, is number one, semi-uplifting. Number two, that the fragrance has no disruptor note. It's actually a very zen feeling because there are no notes that disrupt the other notes. It's almost like all notes are in harmony. You could say that they're kind of linear or well-blended to where it puts you in a mood, guys, okay? And that's my own definition of smelling clean, a fragrance that smells clean. Let me know in the comments below if you have another definition. I would love to hear it. But for me, like I said, this fragrance is so zen, it's so calming, it's so clean that there are a lot of usages for this fragrance right here. Now, as we head to the mid, guys, the big note right here is going to be your sandalwood, guys, okay? Sandalwood is truly a big note right here on Byredo Mojave Ghost, and it is a creamy, clean, semi-sweet sandalwood right here. And it does continue the trend from the musk mallow, because like I told you guys, it curves immediately, and the musk mallow is sort of like a semi-uplifting, musky and clean scent with the sweetness of the chicos right there. And then you are going to get the sandalwood, which is also creamy and clean and great smelling. And so if you are a big fan of sandalwood, make sure to test this fragrance out because you are going to get a good sandalwood dose right here in the mid. And then there's the note of violet, guys. And some people do not like violet at all. And a lot of people compare violet to uh, shampoo and conditioner. I do not know why. But the violet here, I would say, it's actually interesting how they delivered the violet here in Mojave Ghost because the violet is actually like a powdery type of violet and it blends really, really well with the sandalwood with the intensity that is actually really low key. So the violet does not take the attention, it doesn't take the strength out of the sandalwood, but all it does is that it creeps real slow, real low key with the sandalwood, just providing a really nice sweet violet smell. However, like I said, it does not uh, come out like a really pronounced violet. It does not smell like shampoo or conditioner. You are still going to get uh, the woodiness 
of sandalwood guys and i would say just by smelling this the sandalwood mid or the dominant sandalwood mid i would call this fragrance mostly woody mostly woody and musky there are some people that call this floral fruity but i wouldn't say it's like that i would say it's woody and musky and that's the reason why a lot of people wear it because of the clean scent the woody scent the sandalwood and you are going to get that right here in the mid with a low-key powdery violet there's also a floral note of magnolia right here which is actually also in the background and it does give you a nice clean floral scent as well and like i told you guys before this fragrance will really make you feel so zen and calm because there is that continuation like i said there's no disruptors there's going to be that continuation of sweet musky to like sweet woody guys okay so that's what you're gonna get from start to mid and i would say that this also comprises of most of the first few hours of Byredo's Mojave Ghost. Now let's look into a very important part of Mojave Ghost and that's the performance. And this fragrance is truly crucified when it comes to performance. A lot of people are hating on this fragrance because of its supposed performance. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I got specifically when it came to the performance of Byredo Mojave Ghost. What is this fragrance really like once you spray this? This fragrance to me is actually a lingering draw in scent lingering meaning it's right here just a few feet away from you and it is an inviting draw in scent and what it is not what it is not is that it is not a projection scent it is not a scent trail scent and it's also not a room domination scent there's something about the chicos and the musk mallow and the sandalwood that actually makes this fragrance very inviting and the muskiness as well like i said and because of that because of the curve it can't really be a strong projector in my opinion like it would actually defeat the purpose of the combination of the notes now as wonderful as this fragrance is the thing i've noticed performance wise is that this fragrance is really not that strong. Like when you put this scent against other smells or other scents along the way, I think that those scents or those smells can actually overpower Mojave Ghost. And I think this is why a lot of people say that it disappears within minutes. And the best way I can describe the performance or the way that this smells is that there's almost like a mute button, <laughs> a mute button on this fragrance let me tell you guys an example so one time i went to like an outdoor mall for example and i sprayed mojave ghost and while i was out there of course you're gonna get the smells from the food court or other things you go into a shop and there's scents inside the store those can actually overpower mojave ghost and it feels like i pressed the mute button on mojave ghost because it kind of disappeared but then when I walked out again into uh, the outdoor area where the wind hit me right there, uh, miraculously, Mojave Ghost went back into action. It's almost like I pressed that mute button and the volume was turned up and I could smell Mojave Ghost yet again. And with that being said, I really think that Mojave Ghost is perfect for a cozy date night, guys, okay? And I'm not talking about that date night where you're just getting to know the person and you're going probably to a mall and the smells of the food court or the food can actually beat Mojave Ghost. I would say this fragrance is more second to third to fourth date where you're actually gonna cozy up, you know, you're kinda getting close to that person you're dating and you're cozying up. Maybe you're watching the last full show of Doctor Strange or whatever uh, movie and there are no competing smells, guys, okay? And I also think that this is great for work and I'm talking about office work rather than like field work, I would say. And this is also great for meeting friends, probably for brunch. Because of the clean, uninterrupted, musky and woody smell with some sweetness right here, I think that this is perfect for those scenarios, guys. But then again, keep in mind that there is uh, a weakness in this fragrance in the strength department. So if you are going to meet people face to face in an intimate scenario, that's the best time and place to wear Byredo Mojave Ghost. Now let's talk about the longevity, guys. This is quite important because like I said, a lot of people are saying this thing disappears in 15 minutes, this thing disappears in two hours. In my opinion, guys, significant scent without any distracting smells, 
uh, this fragrance lasts seven hours. Significant scent. And it works the best outside, guys. It works the best outside where you have wind hitting your skin is gonna be up in the air for sure, guys, okay? So again, outdoor brunch, outdoor mall, outdoor terrace or whatever, that will work for Byredo's Mojave Ghost. Does it die past the seven hour mark? No, actually it doesn't. It actually goes for probably seven to nine a skin scent, but I would say that significantly it's seven hours. And that's with the mute button, like I said, where if there's something more powerful, it might turn this thing off. And then later when it's gone, the other scent is gone, it's gonna go turn back on. Now let's go into the dry down, guys. And the dry down is pretty similar in effect uh, as the first two parts of Byredo Mojave Ghost, it's actually just a callback to the top notes and the mid notes. Same, similar feels right there. You are going to get cedar continuing from the sandalwood to continue the woodiness of this fragrance right here. Musk will return right here on the bass notes. So it's again a callback to the first part, the musky start of Byredo's Mojave Ghost. You're gonna get musk, you're gonna get clean cedar wood right here, and then you're gonna get vetiver as well. And the vetiver right here is, again, a perfect addition to the clean musky ending, clean woody musky ending, with the vetiver being semi-smoky and grassy and clean. And so I like the vetiver is right here. And then finally, you're gonna get the amber. And the amber right here, like I said, is just a finishing touch. It's just that sweet spot right here near the end, because like I told you, there's a certain sweetness right here from start to finish and amber gives that as well. And actually, if you keep smelling this thing all the way to the skin scent where everything is gone, amber to me is the final note, the sweet ambery note right here. The big question is, is this fragrance really femme or unisex? Okay, in my opinion, women will smell stellar wearing this fragrance. And why do I say that? It's because it's a draw-in scent. On top of the actual scent being nice, it's a draw-in scent. And I think, in my opinion, when I smell women walking around with the scent trails, guys, I actually don't like it when women have strong perfumes. Even if it actually smells good, if it's like, kind of like invading my space a bit, I kind of don't like that, okay? Like, for me, a woman should wear a draw-in lingering scent, not like a super attention grabber. Because, you know, I think that that matches like a lot of women's personalities where you're not actually being so extroverted about your scent. Draw them in, attract them with Mojave Ghost. I think that this is why a lot of women wear this, okay? There's that element of control with the performance of Mojave Ghost, and there's also a non-disrupted smell, which will make you smell sweet, musky, and woody throughout the day. And for men, I think that the men can also wear Mojave Ghost right here. I actually think that maybe the femme impression part is only the beginning once you smell the Chico's right there. But I think that, you know, that Chico's part really goes away or it kind of blends in pretty quickly within seconds. The moment the woodiness really starts, I think that it's truly, truly unisex. I think that guys can definitely pull this one off right here. Now, I recommend this fragrance for those that are looking for an intimate and low-key clean scent right here guys okay and if you haven't gotten your sandalwood fix from other fragrances such as maybe sacred wood or tam dao uh definitely this is one of those woody fragrances that you might want to try or might want to own if you want to get your sandalwood cedar fix ultimately if you try this and you're hooked to this type of scent, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of y'all own a full bottle of this fragrance right here. And just remember that the performance that I stated is off of three to four sprays from this little itty bitty thing right here. But think about the actual sprayer of Byredo that actually sprays more juice. You might get a lot more performance from this. Okay, so that is it. That is my review of Byredo's Mojave Ghost, guys. A hallmark fragrance from the house of Byredo. Let me know on the comments what you guys think. A lot of y'all have already shared that on the community tab, and I thank you so much for that feedback. Let me know what you think of Mojave Ghost on the comments below. Do you wear it? Does your wife wear it? Or if you're a girl, do you actually wear it? And where do you wear it? Where do you think Mojave Ghost works best? I would love to know. For me, it's intimate date night, outdoors, and maybe 
everyday office work but of course i know some of you guys have a lot of different ways of wearing perfume so let me know in the comments what you think and again thank you for supporting the channel thank you for liking subscribing watching the ads and sharing the videos to your friends and family i appreciate that a lot guys okay we are continuing to grow and i won't stop guys i'll come up with a lot more reviews of fragrances that you guys and gals want to hear about as well as the new stuff all right i'll see you guys soon this is troy d god bless take care Peace.